Hey guys, I'm Jim and I edit photos. Thank you for stopping by. Today I'm in On One Photo Raw 2021 and I'm playing around with their Perfect Brush. I did a video a little while ago, a few weeks ago maybe, talking about the Perfect Brush and showing you how it worked. And in this video, I wanted to do something a bit harder and really test this Perfect Brush and see how perfect is it and how can it handle what I consider a really complex masking job. Let's get into it. Here is the photo, and you can imagine what I'm gonna do already. And this is a good way to test out the perfect brush. I've got this tree, I've got a sky behind it, and I wanna mask in a slightly bluer sky. Not because I really need to, just to use this as a test. So I'm gonna click on photo filter, or add filter and photo filter, and you can see I've got a blue here. Don't really care if the color goes, that's not the point. The point is just a color you can recognize that would be behind this. So if I turn this off, there's without photo filter and there it is with photo filter. But of course, I've applied this globally. So if you look at the ground, for example, it's really green and yellow and shadowed. And when I turn this filter back on, it's picking up a bit more of the blue. So that's where we get into the masking. I click on the masking icon and I prefer to invert and then paint in. So I've inverted, make sure you're in paint in mode and the perfect brush is right here. So just make sure you click on that. When you do, it'll come up and tell you, uh, give you this message. But one of the reasons I wanted to do this is if you look at this example image, they talk about masking in and that's a fairly complex mask as well. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna test that myself. So. I'm gonna right bracket key to make a much larger brush and I'm just gonna start painting this blue into this photo. So I'm coming along, you can kind of see it's picking up the edges and it's going in across this photo everywhere that I'm painting, of course. So I'm gonna brush over all of this tree and see what kind of mess I can create and what kind of mask I can get out of it. So. Having done that, I now am gonna hit view. And look at that mask, my friends. That's pretty incredible. Now, it, it does require a little touch up. That's okay. I'm gonna come in here with a smaller mat, or excuse me, smaller brush, and come down here and clean up that edge, and maybe a little bit down there as well. And I think there might be something here along the top where I kind of missed a little bit. But if you look at that mask, that is pretty incredible. Now, if you turn off the view, you can kind of see, I mean, I think that's fantastic and turn it back on. Now, if you wanted to, you can come in here if you wanted to pick up more sky and just keep painting in here and you can kind of see how that's gonna operate. I'm just getting more white. Remember, white reveals, black conceals. So that blue background is being revealed where it's white and concealed where it's dark. You could always come back here with paint out. And in this case, I'm gonna come along this fence line and hit that with a little bit of paint out because I don't want any of that there. And now I'll go back to view. And I think I've got a pretty incredible mask. Now here's one thing I do recommend uh, for tiny little edges like along this horizon, I recommend zooming in and you can kind of see how these trees look here. It's not fully gone behind those trees. So this is where I would go back into view mode. I would get a much smaller mouse, maybe like that. I would go back to paint in and then I would just come along these edges because what I wanna do is pick up, in fact, that's probably a little bit too small of a mouse, pick up more of that blue behind those trees. And in fact, I think I would get out of view mode. There you go. You can see it better if you're out of view mode and you wanna be careful that you kinda of just go along those edges. I'm kinda of going a little too heavy handed in some parts which means a lot of that tree line will turn blue. So in these very small detailed areas, I recommend going kind of slow, and I'm kind of going fast here, and taking your time, zooming in, but um, as you can see here, some of this is a little too much, but the, the nice thing about it is because it's small and it's pretty far off in the distance, you won't see it quite as well when I zoom back out. And I am gonna say paint out, and I'm gonna go back over this person walking. Let me zoom out and show you. Back to paint in and maybe a little bit more clean up along this edge here. And there you go, I think that's really clean. Once again, let me show you the mask. I just can't frankly believe how good of a job it's done around those trees. And this is super complex, and I don't know that this is necessarily what I would do to the photo. Mostly, I just wanted an example of something that you could see that theoretically made sense, which is a bluer sky. So if I turn that off, there's the original blue sky, and I turn it back on, there's the current blue sky. I could come in here now and make further adjustments or refinements to the color and the amount if I wanted to, but more than anything, I wanted to test out how good is that perfect brush at doing really complex subjects, and frankly, I think it's done an amazing job. 
Now keep in mind, this is a, you know, a couple of minutes of work. I highly recommend, especially a, a photo like this, I would come in and do additional touch up and painting in and painting out if you want it to be incredibly precise. I might come back along there. I might come here onto some of the, uh, the branches of the tree. As you can see, I'm kind of going along there and picking up more black in those areas where I would be basically painting out. And of course, always check by uh, clicking view again. And as you can see, I went over a little bit there, but I can fix that quite easy. But that's how it works. It's super powerful. It's super easy to use. And even with an incredibly complex photo like this, where honestly, and in most other products, I would never even try to mask it. I would just say, forget it. You can do something really quick and powerful with the perfect brush here and on one. So just took that blue sky, made it a little bit bluer. So this would come in really handy if you're replacing a sky, if you're doing other edits where you wanna get really specific and detailed around complex subjects that need masking. This is a tool for you. I love it. I think it works great. And again, I'm gonna click on view simply because I get kind of excited seeing that because that to me is pretty insane. I love it, it's powerful. That's the perfect brush in on one photo raw. And that was a demo of how it can handle really complex subjects. Hope that gives you some ideas about how it works. Hope it gives you some ideas that you can use in your own photos. Thank you for watching my friends. I'll be back soon with more stuff. Take care of yourselves out there. I'll see you soon and adios.